des Weiteren... The Pope's main audience hall continues to look more and more like its pre-pandemic version. There are more people at papal audiences, especially foreigners, a sign that bans are being lifted around the world. There was this couple from the United States. Oh, we are here in Rome because our friend, uh, our dear friend, is being ordained to the diaconate uh, for the Archdiocese of Washington tomorrow morning here at St. Peter's. The number of Americans has grown, especially throughout September. Even the Archbishop of Washington, D.C. was finally able to travel to Rome to take possession of his church as a cardinal. There have also been more tourists from Latin America. El ambiente, la energía es... The atmosphere, Pope Francis' energy at 84, his humanity, and his way of teaching in such a simple way touches the hearts of the faithful. For Europeans, reaching Rome is easier. This group from a German parish was happy to have seen the Pope up close. The atmosphere in the hall was really excite, excited. Everybody seemed really happy. And for me, it was really nice to be able to come to Rome because it's the center of the Catholic Church. But the general audiences are far from what they used to be before the pandemic. Everyone has to continue wearing face masks and maintain physical distancing. Would you like to see the Pope up close and personal? Download the Rome Reports app right now on your phone. There are versions available for both iPhone and Android in Spanish and English. You will receive the best images of Pope Francis every day right to your cell phone, including his daily homily, his trips around the world, his meetings with global leaders, his acts of mercy to the needy. All this in a short and direct format, brief videos of one to two minutes, so you can watch wherever you are. Open your cell phone now, download the Rome Reports app, and follow Pope Francis everywhere.